Good morning, world. <clears throat> this is Sergeant Prepper here. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about self-sufficiency, preparing, things like that. Um, first of all, let me say that uh, these are my opinions and my opinions only. And don't try this at home. Um, you know, us in the prepping world, we hear a lot about, uh, you know, taking care of ourselves, self-reliance. But let me, I want to talk to you about the other side of the boat, boot. And that would be people who say they're self-reliant are self-sufficient, but they really aren't. Um, I know lots of people, lots of people in the Patriot community that don't think that as long as they have a rifle and a couple thousand rounds of ammo, hey, they're ready to rock and roll. You know, and they think, uh, I'm just going to go shoot me a deer. Well, they don't realize that, uh, you know, going out and getting a deer during a SHTF, it'd be like standing in line looking for toilet paper at Costco. <laughs> it's not going to happen, folks. Not going to happen. You're going to go awful damn hungry if you think you're going to go out and shoot a deer. Um, well, I'll take it from somebody else. Okay. Do you think that somebody else just bought food and didn't buy a way, buy a way to protect that food? No. So you need to really think twice. Well, um, my people will take care of me. Um, you know, I'm the squad leader in this group, and, uh, you know... If something happens, something goes down, they'll take care of me because I'm the squad leader. <laughs> I'm telling you people right now that very few people will stick together. And the ones that are going to stick together are the ones that prepared. Okay? Not the ones that sloughed off, sat in their garage smoking dope and, you know, and... and you know, when it was time to train, they stood there and took pictures. You know, and they're not even doing the right kind of training. One thing that people do not understand is that when you train, I'm not the best trainer, I'm an old man. I plan on sitting in a hole and blasting away. But, uh, it's good damn allergies are bad this year. They, uh, you know, they think they're going to go up against a multiple force and not, uh, excuse me, they think they're going to go up against a far superior force by running straight at them, you know, doing a little go up here, move, come on, move, let's go. That's not going to happen. Um, the only way that you're going to beat a superior force is to outsmart them, outflank them. Um, more like asymmetrical warfare. Or some people call it fourth generation warfare. But it's not going to happen, you know, because it's just going to be a slaughter. And you will be on the losing end of that slaughter. So I would recommend that if you're going to Sit there and fantasize about this while you're in your garage smoking dope. Or whatever you do. You know. You do a li little bit of thinking, folks. And there are a lot of good preppers. There are a lot of good uh, um, tactical people. You need to... Take that information. Well, my church will take care of me. Uh, no, they won't. Your little food basket will be gone. 
okay, within a matter of no time like that. So let's uh, really think about this. Am I self-sufficient, self-reliant? Am I ready? Will my people take care of me? I've told people, you can come to my place. I live out in the country. You can come to my place. But you better come ready. Okay. You better have all your eggs in one sack. You better show up with a carload of stuff or a cart or however you get there. You know, that's how you show up. I'll show you the a couple little train cars down here. Some kind of local train system here. I don't know what it is. It's a small town, but, you know, think about it. What am I going to do? Do I have enough food? Do I have enough water? Do I have enough medicine? Do I have enough first aid supplies to patch holes with? Um, if you don't bring a IFAC or an individual first aid kit, um, I wouldn't use my, if you got shot, I wouldn't use my kit on you. No way. Not going to happen. I'm not here to take care of people in that type of situation. And you can ask anybody that knows me personally, I take care of people. But I also take care of people that take care of themselves. So we must be able to do this in order if we want to get together with a group and help each other, that's fine. But you better bring something to the table or it's not going to happen. You know, you can just well go off in your la-la land and, and smoke some dope or whatever. You know, I don't have anything against it. I used to. My lungs can't handle it anymore. But, you know, you have to get into a mindset of there's not going to be a store there. There's not going to be a church there. There's not going to be enough deer out in the, you know, out in the hills to sustain you. Okay? You know, you get, uh, you know, in this part of the state, there's probably half a million people and probably a lot of them hunt. And uh, if you think that uh, you're going to go out and get a deer, you might get one. You might get lucky. As soon as that first shot pops off, <laughs> there's going to be people looking for that deer and looking for you. So get ready, folks. Be self-sufficient, self-sustainable, self-reliant. Self Come on. You can do it. You just got to put the extra effort into doing it because that's the only insurance that's going to be around. And S-H-T-F-W-R-O-L. But anyway, I'll quit ranting on and uh, prepare, prepare, prepare. Use your head. And we shall talk to you later. Sergeant Pepper out.